Okay, welcome to our video today. Today, this video is exclusively going to take you through the different sites on Moodle in our Education 610 class that will help you complete your final artifact and reflection. It's a lot of information, and so that's why I'm doing the video. I want to break it down for you a little bit and hopefully make it easily understood. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through, and you can see I'm logged on. I have two uh, 610 classes running this this semester, a 610A and a 610B. They're exactly the same. Um, so if you see a 610B at the top and you're like, that's not my class, um, it's just the Moodle site I'm in today. So as I scroll down from our Moodle site, I want you to see where everything is that will help you get ready to do this final project. Um, there is a list of potential issues for study the final assessment instructions, and then the final assessment scoring guide. So the first thing we're going to go to is, uh, I'm going to just pop open the list of potential issues for study. And my computer did something funny. It's been kind of jumping around on me today. I don't know why. I'll get back up there. And it should just take us right to it. If you click on it, there it goes. Um, and I'm sorry, my head's kind of in the way there a little bit. I'll scroll down. Um, you can see that you are welcome and expected to choose particular issues from this list as you complete your final assessment artifact project. You can also pick other topics that aren't on this list, but you do need to talk to me before you do that. Um, it's a pretty comprehensive list, um, and hopefully it's current enough for you that you'll find things that are interesting to you. But here is where the list of issues is that you're going to select from for this final artifact project. So. I'm going to just take us back now to the main page again. And the reason why I showed you that is because this final artifact project is about the issues you're going to select. You are going to get to select three, hopefully more than three issues that you're going to want to create an artifact around showing how they relate and your impressions and thoughts about the importance of these issues. If you remember those prompting questions, what are the most important issues in education today? How do they relate? Why are they important to you? Why should other people take notice of it? If you notice those questions, you have been answering those questions over and over again in your writing, in your posting. And so it should be somewhat familiar to you. All right, so what's different about this final project is that you're going to actually create something. And you can see there's instructions that tell you right there and I'm just going to read them to you. Um, you're going to use your artistic, graphic, or poetic skills to tell or more specifically visually represent or show about some educational issues. And you're going to use your writing skills to explain which issues you feel are most worthy of attention, how they're related, and illustrated. So you're going to create something and you're going to write about it. Um, so here are some examples of artifacts. Try to explain your issues through some sort of a visual, auditory, poetic, something or other, and with words in reflection. So there's a list of some possibilities for you. I can tell you that I've had everything from poetry, rap, um, original folk music, um, prezzies, PowerPoints, posters, um, and then um, some artistic pieces. And I'm going to show you um, in a student exemplar in a little bit uh, what one student did for me last semester just as an example for you. Um, so there's lots of different ish ideas for you to represent. And for some people that say, I'm not creative, this makes me nervous, um, just just hang on. And, and if you will let your issues kind of help you design your artifact, I think you will find good success. Um, so with that being said, I'm just going to keep scrolling down here a little bit. And one thing I want to point out to you is, is again, just to reference, you're going to select your issues, three or more, and you probably want more than three because it gives you a higher score on the rubric, and you will represent them in an artifact, and then you will write about your artifact in your reflection. So I just want you to kind of see how it all goes together. Um, one thing I'm going to tell you, and it's right in the middle of this page here, if you can just see, I'm um, talking about one visual representation that is not appropriate, is a wordle. I um, have taught this class a few times, and, and last semester I had a couple of students that turned in a Wordle. Um, unfortunately, a Wordle really is just a bunch of words, and it really is not appropriate for this artifact. 
you need to be thinking deeply about your issues and then show how they're interrelated with the artifact. And Wordle is just simply putting things together. Um, so I would tell you, do not use Wordle. That's the only thing I'm going to tell you is not really appropriate for this particular activity. Um, so with that being said, I'm just going to check my notes, make sure I'm covering everything I wanted to cover. Um, I think as I'm looking here is that um, let's talk, we've talked about the artifact a little bit. Let's scroll down just a little bit and here's some information about the second part of it. So you have your issues, you decide what kind of an artifact you're going to use to represent your issues, and then you're going to do this written reflection. And you can see there's some instructions there. This is, this is a rather important part of the project. So please don't just emphasize the artifact, but also the written piece of it, because that is what explains to your audience, myself and your other classmates, what your artifact represents. So you're going to talk about your issues in your reflection, and there is a specific rubric um, that I will show you in just a minute that helps you understand what all has to go into your written reflection. Okay, so um, it says right here, students are strongly encouraged to refer to the sc scoring guide. So we're going to go to that right now. Um, and here is the scoring guide. Um, it is also, let me just, actually, I have it already up, but I'm going to, I'm just going to step out and I'm going to show you where it is on Moodle. So here's, here's the list of potential issues we just looked at. Here's the final assessment instructions. Here's the scoring guide. My computer keeps jumping. That's so weird. Okay, but I already have it open, so here it is. So here's your final assessment scoring guide. You see those driving questions again, and there's the description of what you're making. Remember, every student's going to create that artifact. Then as we go down, you will see there is on our rubric ratings of unsatisfactory, satisfactory, and sophisticated. And for each, there is a potential of either 10 points, 5 points, 5 points, or 5 points, okay? And it shows you on the level of creativity, the issues you selected, how many you selected, the connection, and then that understanding, showing what you know about these issues, okay? Then in your written reflection, here's the rubric for that. You are going to have, again, those three levels, unsatisfactory, satisfactory, sophisticated, maximum points possible, 12, in terms of your explanation. You're going to thoughtfully explain the reasons why you selected your issues and describe in detail how they're portrayed in the artifact. So remember what I said? Your reflection helps us understand your artifact. Um, you're going to thoughtfully explain why you feel those issues are connected and why they're important to you and, and to other people. Um, then there will be a little bit of research involved. You may not find everything you need from our text, so you may have to use other sources. Um, hopefully, with your selection of professional journals that you're doing um, that's coming up in another week or so, um, they might be some of your references. Okay? Um, I will also be looking for your writing to be conventionally correct and that you will be using APA. And I know you've all been seeing my comments. I am talking about APA a lot. I encourage you to use this, your APA guide, it is your absolute best friend. A lot of you send me notes or questions, and, and I, I will certainly help you, but I will also refer you to the page numbers because I do want you to be finding it for yourself and getting more comfortable using APA. Um, so that being said, let me just check my notes, make sure I've covered everything. Um, the last thing I want to do is I'm going to go back to the Moodle site, and I'm going to take you all the way down to the last week of our class because in our final week I have now opened up everything for you and you can see the instructions are a little bit extensive and I don't want them to be overwhelming to you. What you have to do that final week is one individual text reflection that's due on Sunday like every other time we have a text reflection. You're going to choose a chapter from either part five or six of the textbook except for chapter 34 because we'll have already done that one. Okay. So then there's some, some instructions for you on submitting your final assessment. Um, you actually are going to submit it in two places. You're going to put it out on a forum, and you're going to put it in a Dropbox. And you can see those two places right here. Here's the forum that you're all used to, and here's your submission place. So you're going to put it in two places. And the reason you're going to do that is because when you put it here in the Dropbox, it allows me to open it and score it. And when you put it down here under the forum, it allows your colleagues, your peers, to see it. 
And what's going to happen is, as a final part of the class, you're going to have it in by Thursday of the final week, just like you have to do all your posts. You'll have it in on Thursday. And then your classmates are going to go in and they're going to look at your artifact, read your reflection, and reply. They're going to react. Each of you needs to respond to two other classmates. So that's a little different than what we're doing each week in our forum where you're just responding to one person. So you will find two sets of artifacts and reflections that you are interested in that you want to respond to. So your job that last week, you'll do that individual text reflection that's due on Sunday. You will submit your artifact and your reflection by Thursday, both here and here. And then you're going to go in and you're going to see a couple other student works and respond to them. Okay. Then finally, I just want you to see I have placed an exemplar and a reflection that goes with it because I wanted you to know what might somebody do for this particular project. Okay. I'm going to tell you that your project can't look like this because it's not your work. It's someone else's work. I'm not expecting you're going to duplicate this product, but I did want you to see what someone did with the prompts, the rubric, taking the issues and bringing it together. Um, I'm just going to show you this particular artifact is a fairly large PDF, and so I already uploaded it. And I just want you to be able to see. Um, you can see the gentleman's got some um, incredible artistic abilities. I'm just going to kind of scroll down so you can see the whole piece. And you can see there's words and there's symbolism and it is all together. And without reading his reflection, it may not necessarily be clear to you what exactly his educational issues are and how he sees them all being related. So hopefully what I want you to see when you go to the student reflection, you will gain an understanding of the student artist's work and, and why he selected them and why he felt they were important and why he thinks they should be important to others. Um, so that is it. That is the whole final project. And I do hope that this helps you to navigate all of this information. But if I have confused you or you get turned around or you're just stuck on something, please email me. Um, I am happy to help you. Um, I encourage you, though, to select your issues now and have them in your mind as you're working because I think it will really help generate what you want to do for an artifact. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day.